Hello everybody and in this video I'm going to talk about the properties of the alkali metals. So the first alkali metal is lithium. Lithium is a very soft metal so it can easily be cut with a knife. Outside the lithium has oxidized with the air. On the carving side you can see the shiny metal. Phenophthalene is an indicator that turns pink when the pH rises above 10. This reaction produces hydrogen. We catch this hydrogen in a test tube. It can light it, which should make a popping sound. We try this again, but letting a little bit more air in. The next alkali metal is sodium. The sodium has to be stored in mineral oil, because otherwise it starts to react with the air. Sodium is also a very soft metal, so it can be easily cut with the knife. You can see that the sodium is very shiny on the carved side. On the other hand, the sodium is very oxidized on the outside. After you've just seen how the sodium reacted with the water and just got smaller and smaller, let's take the radius of movement for the sodium this time. The next alkali metal is potassium. Potassium is softer than the other two metals, so it can also be cut with the knife. And like the other two metals, it is oxidized on the outside and shiny on the inside. For safety reasons, we raise the glass shield. The 
The next alkali metal is cesium. The melting temperature of cesium is 28 degrees, which means at room temperature the cesium is a solid. When it is warmed up, it becomes a liquid. The last experiment is a galvanic cell. There is wool in this petri dish and now we will add salt and water. Now we put in copper and zinc and as you can see a voltage is generated. Okay. Now we replace the zinc with lithium. As you can see we will get a much higher voltage, because lithium is a less noble metal. What you can hear is the lithium reacting with the water. The smoke you can see is toxic, the smoke irritates the airways and lungs, I would not recommend inhaling it. Special thanks to my chemistry teacher. Without him this video would not have been possible. Till next time and bye!